Hey guys, good evening from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Officially the first review of the first day of 2019. I did one last night uh, during the midnight when the year was changing, shifting to 2019 to 2000, from 2018. Uh, but uh, the year, I don't know how it started for you, but it didn't start for me so well. Uh, kind of fell sick, uh, yes, typical. The kind of like feverish and kind of like not feeling all that well, so I was like uh, snoozing whole day. So I thought I woke up uh, feeling a little bit better. I'll go out in a short while for tea and stuff, dinner. But I thought let's just do one review. And I plan to do a few reviews tonight, uh, at least a couple, okay? So let's see what you got. First of all, I'll do this review, as you can see from title. It's uh, Perfumes de Marley, Pegasus, okay? So this fragrance is my third in the collection. And I've done a number of uh, Perfumes de Marley fragrances, uh, namely uh, Herod, I have done Godolphin, I have done Carlisle. Uh, Nisian, uh, I think I also tested Wajan, Habdan, okay, so I tried quite a number of uh, PDM fragrances. So this would, would be uh, not my first PDM fragrance review. If you want to see those Perfumes, Perfumes de Marley reviews, just go to YouTube, Perfumes de Marley, enjoy, I mean, you just see those reviews, whatever I have reviewed. So let's see the presentation and uh, let tell you how, let's tell you how it smells and who is it for, uh, what time to wear it. Perfumes de Marley, they come with this uh, two, two kind of presentations. This one is that paper boxes. They also have that hard uh, casing, the boxes that is part of the Arabian collection. And they are specially known for their horses. You'll see their logo is always horses, okay? And it, the name name is here, Perfumes de Marley Paris, the house name. Uh, fragrance name is here, Pegasus in silver. It's a two-tone kind of a box, okay? And it says... Uh, Royal Essence and these are 125 mil they come in and EDT uh, up there you're gonna find their logo this is niche house so very very uh, the, the presentation is very top-notch okay you find some uh, sorry find some stories at the back I don't have any plan to read them at the bottom they're gonna have some more information and these are made in France okay and uh, yeah these cost you around Bangladesh you it, these fragrance will cost you between 135 all the way to 170 US dollars depending on what you are buying they also give you these leaflets and cards uh, inside the box very nice touch I don't read them again and the bottles just like those other bottles but this one is kind of like a silver uh, I, I really like this it's like a silver surfer kind of a dude very heavy bottle as usual the cap is like this very heavy cap and if you take out the cap cap and bottle almost weighs the same this one is one heavy heavy solid metal just like any other perfumes de Marley caps you can use this as a weapon but do not <laughs> there's a batch code bit at the bottom and it it's kind of like a fingerprint magnet but you have to keep wiping it just like every other perfumes de Marley bottles so this fragrance uh, let me tell you first of all how I know this I reviewed long time ago Armaf craze which is now very difficult to find in market and I really liked it it was different I did not understand the concept of this fragrance at first when I sniffed it. I was like, what am I getting? It's not typical sweet fragrance. It's not typical citrusy fragrance. It's different. You know, it doesn't have so much playfulness. And uh, it took time, you know, for it to grow on me to understand it. Then I saw some reviews and people said, compared it to Pegasus, never smelled Pegasus until recently, like a few months ago, I only did. But I really liked it. This is a great fragrance for winter and it's bang for buck and i know this dna from this fragrance okay so i know pegasus dna from craze so i'll compare a little bit with uh, pegasus versus craze so what i really felt was this was in my review i said I, as far as i remember i said this is a cold weather kind of fragrance kind of gloomy and it's not so playful but it has this bitter almond vibe okay it also has this uh, <coughs> lavender sort of vanilla combo it's kind of like uh like a kind of like a powdery thick kind of fragrance and it's not for everybody, it's accurate taste, okay? That is what Arm of Craze is for. But that one got a lot of uh, love in community. So now let's try this fragrance and talk about it, all right? How different it is because it's, it definitely has price difference by a mile, okay? Let's pray this. These prayers are really monstrous and I really love these prayers, okay? Let's check this, okay? Great spray. So this fragrance, uh, first of all, performance great performer great great performer it beats armaf one by far 
Armaphon lasts on you like four or five hours. This is, this is gonna push almost double the time. But projection is not uh, like something to brag about. I wouldn't say this is a beast mode projector. This projects very nicely uh, for the first two hours, very strong projection. And then the projection is gonna be around two to three feet around you. Wherever you go, there's gonna be nice thick thin bubble or thin cloud around you. It's gonna be very prominent, okay? Uh, the fragrance strength, so I would say this is very good. Longevity, I would say, more than projection. So this fragrance has no performance issues, uh, okay, first of all. Second of all, the wearing, when to wear it. It's uh, fall and spring. I would say this also in winter days, but I think winter days you want to crave for something more like a in line of Herod, you know, like something sweet, something a little bit more denser or something spicier. This is going to be perfect for early winter days. This is going to be like, imagine it's a cold day. It's kind of like foggy outside, but it's not that foggy. It's raining a little bit also. So those days, you know, imagine in a, uh, I I'd said in Cray's video that if you're living in a like European sort of a village and it's people sleep there early, you know, by eight o'clock lights are out and it's a gloomy day. It's very much of accurate taste because the notes, let me tell you the notes, on the top note you get, according to Fragrantica, are Bergamo versus, not versus, Bergamo, Heliotrope, and Cumin. At the mid you get Jasmine, Bitter Almond, and Lavender. At the base you get Amber, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. Those are the notes breakdown for this, but uh, more so what I really get is the top, the Heliotrope, the dreamy sort of a powery sort of floral is there, and uh, mid you're gonna get that uh, Bitter Almond vibe mixes with that lavender so the jasmine and the bergamo uh, cumin these things my nose didn't pick up at the base what you're gonna get is that amber vanilla these two will be definitely there sandalwood not to my nose that much so this fragrance stays pretty much like a kind of like a freshy for winter that's what i feel it's kind of weird in that way I, I know the heliotrope is not a fresh note but lavender also is not a fresh note but somehow it's it's clean it's like a yeah, okay, I'm getting the cumin now. So it's kind of like a kind of spicy uh, sort of uh, that heliotrope is there and then the lavender and then this the amber vanilla. So basically you get the idea. It's kind of like a powdery scent which smells fresh, okay? So you wear this how many sprays? I would say go one on your neck and two on your each arm. Good to go. If you have one on your shirt and two on each arm, that also works, okay? <coughs> this is strong. Uh, this one will definitely get you noticed when you go through like a crowd or you go past people People will definitely notice you where to wear it. I think you can wear it for work You know, you know if it's like a little bit cold you can wear it like let's say you wore Jacket with your shirt, but didn't wear a tie. It's kind of like a semi-formal kind of fragrance, not too casual Okay, uh, age. I think this is a little bit of mature side. It's uh, um, I would suggest it's 25 and up Okay, that's the kind of crowd I would see. You've already gone past the university, you can definitely appreciate it. And if you like this DNA, but you cannot afford it, you can easily hop on to Arm of Craze because on the dry down, this fragrance smells almost 80% to 85% similar. So why would you spend so much more money on this one? Refinement, okay? You get that refinement in this and the longevity overall is better than Arm of Craze. But here is the thing. Respect to Armaf for producing a fragrance which is high class. Not all Armaf clones are excellent. This one is very, very, ex I would say very excellent. <laughs> very excellent, yeah. And this is excellent because they actually captured the essence of this one almost on a dry down. The opening is also different in Pegasus. It's much more smoother, much more posh. Uh, that heliotrope opening is just great, okay? So this fragrance, uh, I would suggest try before you buy. Do not blind buy this. This is a try. It's a different kind of fragrance. You will not you'll not have a lot of fragrance in your collection that smells like this, okay? So over longevity, I'll give this like nine out of 10. Projection, I'll give you eight, okay? Versatility, five. I would not wear this in the hot summer's day when it's like really uh, pumping. The sun is like really making you sweat and melt. This one won't be a perfect companion. So wear this as long as the cold weather stays. Uh, daytime, nighttime, I think it's a good fragrance to wear during uh, day slash evening time. It'll be great fragrance, okay? And uh, winter, uh, like early winter days. Overall, this fragrance, uh, despite everything, the creativity, originality, this fragrance, people call it uh, nowadays Parfums de Marley as a clone house. I don't see it like that. It's perhaps they are inspired by many fragrances, but this fragrance actually is pretty darn awesome.
right? So overall, this fragrance, I'll give it nine out of 10, considering everything, creativity, the presentation, how long it's it lasts, all these things matter, right? But this is accurate taste. This is not for everybody, that bitter almond vibe. It's something that you actually, you know, get used to, right? So check out, <coughs> sorry, Pegasus, the smell actually bothering my <laughs> system. Uh, the Pegasus, right? This is a great fragrance, very beautiful fragrance for fall and spring. Okay, that's my review for Pegasus. Uh, stay tuned, I will do some more reviews tonight. Uh, until then, bye bye.